Okay, welcome again. This is our tutorial on how to use Elance.com. Um, there's a few other ones out there, such as Guru.com, but this is where you're going to find uh, independent contractors to work and do some work on your website. It doesn't have to just be on your website. Any kind of tech issue or kind of grunt work that you don't feel like doing, I'll get into some of the things that you can use them for, but first of all, Let's log in to our account here. This is uh, one of the accounts we have set up just so you get a feel for what it looks like when you're going in. So uh, it is free. You do not have to pay for anything. You just uh, would have to fill up, register for an account, give your personal information, email address, all that stuff. So, uh, okay, so now we're on the front page of Elance. And if you go up to the top tabs here, it comes across Hire, uh, Manage, Pay, Explore, and my inbox. So explore. Um, this will give you a full-on tutorial how it works. Um, I'm going to get you through what I feel the basics. It's really the only part of the site that we've needed to use so far. So what you're going to do is say you have something that you don't feel you have a handle on. Um, you want to have some graphical work done on your website, wh whatever it is. So we'll go into post a job right here. And any second now, there we go. Okay, so describe what you need. So here we go. You want to put in job title. Uh, we'll say it's graphic design. I'm not going to go all the way through and post this just because I don't want them thinking I do need somebody when I don't. Select category. Uh, what would that be in? That would be in web and programming or design and multimedia. It could either, either or. We'll see what it gives us for subcategories when we go web and programming. And then where there we are, website design. Yeah, you know, saw there's a whole bunch of other options there. Continue to scroll down. Job description. This is where you would put a little bit more in there, uh, as detailed as as you feel you need to be. Uh, but it could be anything uh, as vague as need some new banners for my site. And then if you feel that there's more description you can give, that's fine. You have a whole ton of space here to to go over it. Um, Files, we're not adding any files, but you can. That's another option to do. Desired skills, uh, you don't have to customize it. You can just say this is what you want. So if you're not looking to hire full-time, which you're probably not with a position, you want to just keep it selected as, as project, and then you decide if you want to do a fixed fee or an hourly, and we'll leave it at fixed fee. It has to at least be $50, so we'll go 50 to, to 500 You could choose hourly on this duration. You know, if it's only going to take... Uh, Somebody a couple couple hours to do it, so, um, and then you can pick your your hourly rate here. So, uh, we usually go with fixed fee because uh, we like to be able to have them go back and forth until the project's completed. Maybe the first thing they return to you is not what you wanted specifically. You can always write them back and say, eh, "Can you tweak this a little bit?" So, um, preferred job location. It's online, so you can get some lower bids from from other areas. So we like to leave that checked. There's no preference. And I agree to pay my service provider through Elance using escrow at no charge to release payments upon approving the work. This is fantastic. It's not between you. The agreement isn't strictly between you and the provider. It's going through Elance, which means you'll put your funds in escrow. They can't be released until you say it's okay for them to be released. Now, you can't have work done and then just say I'm not going to pay the guy. They do have a dispute resolution system, which I'll I'll show you in a second so and then you would just save it and post later or continue so what happens is once you do this I'm not gonna do it like I said to post post the job because um, I don't need anything like that right now but that's it once you once you go all the way through you're gonna receive an email at your own personal email that you used when signing in that tells you your job has been posted and then the responses are gonna start rolling and you can you can look at uh, go back in and log into your Elance account and check and see if they're coming in. But you're going to get notified through your personal email as well. So it's really handy. You're not going to miss, miss out on anything. And you have just opened it up to the entire world of anybody to respond to your job. Now, depending on what kind of work you, you're asking for, you can get anywhere between 2 and, and 20 uh, responses. You can choose to have it you know, limited to certain countries. You can have it just in the United States. However you want to do it, you can weed through um, all, all, all the responses that you get. So, this, this is, um, this is fantastic. So we're gonna, we're gonna go back. They don't have any tabs up top here, so we're just gonna hit the, uh, the back button. We will be leaving the posting process. That's okay. But that, that's as simple as it is. 
Um, you're going to get people coming back and showing you now. I'll go over to my, my workroom, so some jobs that we have done before. And let's take a look at that. And you'll just kind of see what, what starts rolling in now. This is a job that, that we already awarded to somebody. And so that means you're not going to see all the responses. But let me just skip down to the bottom here. So this is, this is what happens. This, this is what it's going to look like when you, when you start getting responses coming in. So, you know, this is the name of the company. We've seen your website. We're very interested and confident in helping you get a better page. They'll give you samples of their work. Please, please review. And that's it. Now, they'll also, when they send their bid back in, they will have a price on there. So if you set a minimum bid or a bid between 50 and 500, I'm pretty sure on this job I got numbers between 90 and 150 dollars for this job. You're not necessarily going to look for the cheapest one. You want to look at samples. You want to see what these people have done. But the the beauty of this is, I mean, it's it's far ranging. You can go back to, um, you know, there's all different options up here. Skills. It doesn't just have to be for web design. Uh, say you found somebody in your area that is a home builder and you're a subcontractor. You can post on here to ask for somebody to say, okay, I need you to contact the, the 20 biggest home builders in my region and email them and tell them something about my service. You, you can come up with your own email that you want this person to send out, but they'll do the work for you. You don't have time to do this, to go look online, find the 25 websites, find their contact information, which sometimes isn't always posted right on their web page, but somebody will respond to you. Yeah, I'll do that for you. That's what I do. I'll email these people. I'll be in charge of, of receiving the replies, forwarding them on to you, and then you can just weed through uh, the three or four or five or however many that get back to you, and you've just picked up some new business by paying somebody maybe $25, $50, to go out there and do this research for you. So it's really handy. Like I said, Guru is another one. Um, you want to keep the job and the payments in escrow. And I'll tell you why. Good reason for that. One of the jobs is we had a we had an issue. I you, you get a response from somebody. You say, okay, let's do it. You put the funds in escrow, and then all of a sudden they disappeared. They would not respond to my to my inquiries. I got back to them. Oh, they sent one message back. Oh, we're sorry about the delay. And then they never got back to me again. So that's why you have the funds in escrow. You're not paying this provider directly. They could be anywhere, India, Bangladesh, and you have no recourse of, of getting your money back. So with the funds being in escrow, that's your protection. You can file a dispute resolution. And you'll see here on my account activity, transaction history, the last job that I did was a $110 job. And the provider, see if you can see right here on May 2nd, I sent in $110, and then that was moved over to fund the project also on May 2nd. But here on June 3rd, now after I finally went through the, the process of the, the complaint against the company, Elance looked into it. They'll give the provider um, three to five business days to respond. They got no response, so the money was put back and debited back to my credit card. So it's really, really a great system as far as protecting yourself after you're done with the job. Um, you can leave uh, feedback. Let me see. In the workroom, you'll be able to leave feedback, which is good. I mean, if somebody if somebody did something like that to me, then you you get to say, look, this this provider. And then when other people come on here to look for for a service, they'll they'll see that that person had a negative mark. Likewise, if they do a great job for you, you wanna you wanna give them uh, the respect on that as well. So um, this is really a huge huge advantage for. People that don't want to do, don't have either, don't have the time or don't have the skills to do particular jobs online. Um, we recommend Elance.com highly, and it's just been a great tool for us as far as as, as getting some of that grunt work out. So um, that is how you outsource work on the internet, either through Elance.com or Guru.com, are our two favorite sites. And that's going to be it for this module. I will I will talk to you soon.